check it out. Out to the top, knocked away by Alverson. Here's Blanche on a breakaway, drives and scores. How about that? Welcome into another edition of the Auburn Women's Basketball Review with Tigers head coach Terry Williams from Illinois. I'm Andy Bursch. I'm glad to have you with us today. The Tigers this past week at home against LSU on a Thursday night. Let's take a look at the highlights. Good crowd on hand at Auburn Arena for the Tigers and LSU. Muhammad inside the arc, head fake, drives, puts it up off the glass, didn't get it, rebound. Peyton Davis is there for the putback for Auburn. Down to the baseline for King. Bounce pass to the low post for Tanner. Turnaround jumper, good, and a foul on plays on. On the wing, or dead underneath for oh, Tanner. Left side for Tyrese from 18, good. That's a nice look. Out to the top, knocked away by Alverson. Here's Blanche on a breakaway, drives and scores. How about that? Ahead to Tyrese Tanner. One dribbled up with the left hand, she got it. 13 in the shot clock, Tanner on the left wing. Pull up jumper from 13, good. Blanche, baseline left for Tanner, puts it up and in. Tyrese got bumped on that shot and no call. Plays on, at the free throw line. Deflected out of her hand by Ordet. On the break for Auburn. The Jet drives and missed the bunny. Rebound Muhammad, back up and her first field goal of the night. The Jet drives to the basket, banks it up, good. Well, Her first bucket of the night ties the game at 34 with 14.56 to go, second half. Pull up from about eight, it's blocked by Alverson who saves it. To Ordad up the floor with go King with and Tanner. King drives, good pass, Tyree shoots with the left hand, scores. The topper Alverson, low post, there Davis shoots, go. scores! Auburn there with the lead. Ordad right side for Tanner to Hasina from 17, good. Let's hope she's getting hot. Top of the circle, Najet. 12 to shoot, lobs it for Davis with the reverse, good against Plaisance. Yep. Gets a screen, penetrates, loses it. Here's Muhammad Hello. the other way. Hasina on a drive to the basket to tie the game good. Webb misses the second free throw. Rebound to Auburn and this one's over. LSU 59, Auburn 55. I mean, they really should have some confidence. I mean, they, we, we played as well as we could tonight to win the ball game. You know, we just didn't finish it out. So, you know, you got to have some confidence. You got to, you know, at this point, we got to figure out a way to win. You got to have a will to win at this point. That was a di it was a disappointing night of basketball for Auburn. I know that there was a lot of frustration out there and uh, an opportunity to win an important basketball game. Yeah, we definitely let one slip out, out of our hands again. You know, we just got to, you know, find that in us. You know, we got to find that will to win and, and, and to finish out the games. I mean, because we did a lot to win the game, just not enough to finish out for the win. We've seen a lot of teams of late really try and take Hasina Muhammad out of a game and Blanche Alverson out of the game. Those, those seem to be the two targets, and I think Blanche because she's Auburn's primary three-point shooter and Hasina because she's obviously the leading scorer. What are those teams doing, and then how can Auburn counteract that, Coach? Well, Blanche is actually our only three-point shooter, <laughs> so that doesn't become too hard when you're doing the scouting report. Um, and then also, you know, with Hasin, I mean, she's our go-to player. She's been, you know, one of the leading scorers, you know, constantly for us every night. And, you know, and because, you know, she is kind of, you know, limited where she can score from, I think it becomes a little easier to guard her. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back with more of the Auburn Women's Basketball Review. I'm Shadero Clay and I'm the point guard for Auburn Women's Basketball. Loose ball is a straight throws ahead for Clay. She's got a beat on it, drives to the hole, puts it in and a foul on the play. My favorite food is cinnamon apples. It's different and it's unusual. Lacrosse, because it's tough. My favorite movie is Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect is my favorite movie because it's hilarious and it involves singing. One of my hobbies is singing and dancing, even though I'm not good at it. If I could travel anywhere, I would travel to France, just because Jet is from there and she talks about it a lot and it seems great.
Welcome back in the Auburn Women's Basketball Review with Tigers head coach Terry Williams Flanoy. Auburn followed up the LSU matchup by going on the road to South Carolina, a team that was ranked as high as number 13 in the country in the coaches' poll. All right, a look at the highlights between Auburn and South Carolina. Listen on the floor with the left hand. Pull up from 13, it was blocked, it comes to Ordad. Up from about 19, she gets it. Looks right, looks left, throws into the key for Muhammad. Asina gets a little room, shoots from about 13, didn't get it. Rebound Tyrese with the uh, rebound and she puts it in. Asina in the key on a curl pass with the shot for uh, Tanner. Tyrese gets the rebound and puts it in with the left hand and Auburn goes up 6-5. Najet near the right hash, top of the circle for Peyton Davis, back door. To Tanner, she puts it in. Nice backdoor pass from Davis to Tyrese, who already has six. Off the left side for Clay, six to shoot. Pull up, 19-footer in the air, good with four in the shot clock. And Clay gives Auburn a 10-9 lead. Tanner, low post for Peyton Davis. Turns with the right hand, banks it in. Peyton Davis ties the ball game. Tanner, free throw line, capers, right wing, Clay, three in the air, good. Shadero Clay has hit her first two shots. A three ball from the right wing gives Auburn a three point lead. Drives, goes down the left side of the lane, head fake. Throws it right wing or dad, Najet for three. Good. Najet knocks down the three. Now reverses back out to Ordad. Kicks it baseline right. Muhammad up from eight. Good. Picked up by Walker. Got a screen from Walker. Lobs it back underneath. Tracy Tanner to the hole, put it in. She got bumped. No foul there, but Tracy put it in. Her to Mitchell. Back to Walker. Throws it right to Muhammad. Down the lane to the hole, banked it up. Got it. Asina with her second straight steal makes this one count. And Auburn cuts the lead to two with 17-10 to go, second half. Gets the ball to her sister, Tracy. Gets bumped, puts it up, missed it. Rebound, fought for it. Tanner again, up and in, we're tied! With 16.01 to go, second half. Tracy Tanner has tied the game with 30. Throws it into the corner, left side for Ordad. Dejet penetrates up from about 17, good! Dejet Ordad with the bucket. Low post pass, Tracy Tanner. Head fake, off the glass, good. Tracy with eight, all in the second half. Trims the lead to two. Underneath Tracy, her sister, throws the ball away. It comes to Capers who banks it up and in for Auburn. Tigers got a break. Lobs it underneath for Capers, behind the defense, put it in. Marvelous pass from Ordad to Capers. Cuts the lead to six. Ordad, low post, Tracy Tanner. Spins up with the right hand, banked it in, down two. Tracy Tanner with 10. 49-47, Auburn down two. Najet will pull up for a three right wing. She missed it. Rebound, Clay taps it up and it's good. For Muhammad, Asina. Free throw line for Ty Ty Tyrese Tanner. Drives to the hole, she banked it in. Her first bucket of the second half. Auburn will not foul. Carolina will get its 19th win. It's fifth in the league, 59-51. I thought it was a, a different Auburn ball club. You lost the ball game by eight and yet had some chances late, but I, I thought the tone for Auburn was different than it was against LSU. Would you agree? I agree. I think we really came out and played a little bit harder. And it's almost like everybody, you know, decided to make that extra effort. And one of the things we talked about in practice was, you know, what exactly are you doing to help us to win a game? You know, every time that you step on the floor, you given everything that you have to help us win the basketball game. And I thought that this time that, you know, we really had people making a conscious effort to do it. And a lot of times, you know, it was a swing of three-point game, two-point game, one-point game. You know, it was a point there, I think, where Alicia Welsh got a lose for transition and one, and that kind of opened it up to a six-point game. And that's kind of where we, you know, couldn't catch up at that point. Tanner's sisters combined for 20 points in the ball game. Tracy Tanner did most of her damage in the second half, I thought really established herself on the on the low post. She did. I mean, Trace is a big body post, you know, and, and you know, South Carolina really didn't have a true inside presence with the post. They're very athletic in the post, but not a true big body type post player. And I thought Tracy really did a good job using her size to score inside. Let's take a look at Auburn's top five highlights of the week. Number five, Peyton Davis's backdoor pass to Tyrese Tanner. Top of the circle for Peyton Davis. Back door to Tanner, she puts it in. Nice backdoor pass from Davis to Tyrese, who already has six. Number four, Tracy Tanner's off the glass shot against LSU's Teresa Plaisance. Left wing, Give Muhammad. Low post, Tracy Tanner against Plaisance. Off the glass, good it's good. Girl. Number three, Tracy Tanner's drive and left-handed layup. 
Goes right side, Muhammad underneath for Tracy. Down to the baseline, up with the left hand. Got it, Tracy Tanner. Down the lane with the left hand, put it in. Number two, Tyrese Tanner's off-balance jumper versus LSU. The Blanche, baseline left for Tanner. Puts it up and in. Tyrese got bumped on that shot and no call. And this week's number one play is Blanche Alverson's steal and fast break layup. Out to the top, knocked away by Alverson. Here's Blanche on a breakaway, drives and scores. How about that? And we welcome you back in the Auburn Women's Basketball Review. Julie King is an interesting story for this Auburn basketball team. An outstanding soccer player for the Tigers, a four-year starter for Karen Hoppe's team. She was the co-SEC Defensive Player of the Year, had a fifth year of eligibility. Tell us the story. How, how did she become a part of the Auburn Women's Basketball Team? Well, you know, as I was talking with, you know, our senior woman administrator, Meredith, and, you know, I was just talking about the numbers that we had and how I just really like to have more numbers the way we play. And, you know, she uh, mentioned Julie King, and then I talked to Karen Hopper, who absolutely loves Julie King, and, you know, say, you know, just check with her and see, you know, her. She played basketball in high school. Her father was a really good player. Um, you know, let's just check and see if she wanted to play basketball. And that's kind of how it came about. And, you know, she came to the office, great kid. I, I loved her as soon as she stepped in, you know, and she just, you know, came out, you know, decided, came in with no expectations, you know, she just wanted to play basketball, you know, and I told her the other day, I said, look at you now, you're the first guard off the, you're the sixth man and you came in with no expectations at all. Really good high school player. She had an opportunity to play Division I basketball if she chose, went the soccer route, and now is getting that opportunity. Has already graduated for you uh, as well. And as you mentioned, she's playing a key role with this ball club. She is. And we actually had a conversation probably about two weeks ago of Julie really stepping up and being, you know, a little bit more vocal leader. You know, we talked about some of the things that she went through on her soccer team. And, you know, because they were very successful. Right. You know, what, what was it that made you guys so successful? And you need to share those stories with, you know, our team. You know, we're in a learning process right now. We, we don't know how to win. You know, you've won. You know, won really big. You know, share some of those stories with us. Here's an opportunity to get to know Auburn senior guard, Julie King. Free throw line, extended left side, King, up and in! Julie. To Shadero Clay, brings it up the floor. Up the floor, Julie King to the hole, go! After four years of playing on the soccer team, senior Julie King was given the opportunity to play on the women's basketball team this season. You know, I'd always kind of dreamt about, wow, that would be amazing to be a two-sport athlete, but being at a school like Auburn, you know, Division I, SEC school, I never really thought it was a possibility because of just the high level of competition. Up the right sideline, Julie King drives to the hole, banks it take. in, and a foul on the play. The opportunity basically fell in my lap, and I mean, when Coach Flo asked me, it was, it was a no-brainer. I mean, I, I didn't even think about it for two seconds, it was easy, yes. I mean, I was just grateful to even have the opportunity. Well, at first I was shocked. It was um, exciting to hear, though, because I know we had talked over her time here how difficult it was for her to make that decision in high school to choose one sport or the other. So I was really excited for her, a little nervous for her, and I think she was too, but um, it's been pretty cool to watch. King's athletic ability and competitive nature has allowed her to succeed at both sports. Coming from being, you know, a soccer player and a defender for the Auburn team, um, Coach Flo's system um, and style of play has been really perfect for how I would want to play, and you know, it it allows me to to do what um, I am best at doing and what I can bring to the team, and that's, you know, just working hard and and running hard and running fast and you know, playing tough defense and just giving 100% effort whenever I get the opportunity to step on the floor. King comes up with a steal. Julie drives to the basket. Yes! And a foul. Uh, Julie is a fearless competitor. She steps out on the court and plays her hardest every time she walks between those lines. And she's just um, one of those special people that you don't have to tell her to go hard. Um, not that you don't expect that from your players all of the time, um, but she's somebody that I think rubs off on her teammates. Um, she's going to die for the loose ball. Sometimes it'll get kicked. Um, but you always know that Julie is, is coming to play and, and bringing her game on the court. 
she is an extreme athlete and I think she has a lot of things and a lot of components to her as an athlete that a coach can't teach as far as her determination, her work ethic, her attitude and just very, very good character. So she was a very good leader and good example um, for most of the kids on our team. King's experience on the basketball team is teaching her many things and is helping her gain a better understanding of the game. I couldn't even begin to um, describe to you what this experience has been like. I could have never guessed that it was going to teach me as much as it has so far. I mean, in so many ways, first playing under Coach Flo, I did not know what I was getting into with that, and it's been an amazing experience. I mean, she is such an incredible coach. And uh, besides that, I mean, obviously, I've learned a lot more about basketball. Uh, you know, coming in here, they would tell you, I, I didn't even know what the drills were. Like, <laughs> I didn't know a lot. So it's been a, an amazing learning experience. King on a drive to the hole with a scoop, it's good! Oh, <laughs> baby! Auburn is on the road this week. The Tigers play at Georgia, ranked in the top 10. Georgia ball club that is very, very quick and athletic and uh, while they have the guards, they also have some true post presence and they have some depth at that post uh, as well off the bench. Yeah, they're definitely a team with a great inside out presence, you know. Um, Hassel inside is a really good post player. I mean, she's strong inside and then you just look at so many guards that they have. You know, you take, you know, James out of the picture, just look at everybody else that they have. They just got a really, uh, a lot of really good guards. Auburn is back at home on Sunday. The Tigers play host to Florida. This will be Auburn's first home SEC game on a Sunday. It will be nice to be at home on a Sunday when the Gators come to town. Absolutely, and I hope we get as many people out yeah. to watch us on this Sunday afternoon. Great, just a great afternoon to play basketball. I know, I know you don't look too far ahead, but this Florida ball club is also another good ball club, and, and, and a lot of teams are right now trying to position themselves for that SEC tournament coming up in just about a month. Yeah, when you you know we're right now over into the second half of the season, so this is you know the time where you got to make you know some sort of a run to position yourself for the SEC tournament, and, and it's just been so many you know crazy games and upsets, and you know so at any given night you know you just never know who's going to win. Wish you all the best this week, War Eagle. Thanks, Andy War Eagle. With Tigers head coach Terry Williams, Illinois. I'm Andy Burcham on the Auburn Women's Basketball Review. Thank <laughs> you.